Hi folks and welcome back to another Conan Exiles Tricks and Tips video. So in this episode we're going to discuss the heart of the Nordheimer. So a couple of episodes ago we did the heart of a hero that you get from the human bosses in the unnamed city um, and you can then trade that you can either use them to as a consumable to get rid of uh, corruption from you or you can trade them in at the uh, Hanuman's Grotto to get the chance of getting that gorilla, silverback gorilla pet. But this one, a similar idea, it's a heart of a Nordheimer and you get heart of the Nordheimers, they drop off of named Nordheimers. So we have to go up north into the, the Highlands area and find some named uh, Nordheimers and I, I happen to know of a, a little run where we can get you can usually get four in a row that are like guaranteed spawn locations and we'll go up there and we'll grab a couple of these hearts and then we'll take them back down to Hanuman's Grotto and we'll see what we get from them. Okay so I'm going to get my stuff together and I'm going to head up to the frozen north well not quite the frozen north the, the highland north similar to where we we uh, found a, a couple of named thralls in, in the last Beginner's Guide video, and I, I will meet you up there. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, welcome back. We're, we're headed up and we're almost into the, the north. Um, as I did in the named thrall video for the Beginner's Guide, I've come up here to what's this location called the shattered basin so you can see roughly where we are up here that's the what's that called the aqueduct yeah the southern aqueduct that goes up into the north and uh, just that's where one of the croc bosses is and we're just a little bit east to there and what you can see is the what you're looking for is this broken statue uh, so we've, we've come up up here and that's the base of the statue and this top of the statue is broken down and just over there is that little gap and you can see the greenery of the highlands through there so we jump off the horse jump across here we can climb through here and we can get into the north this way it's one of the one of the few places that you can get past all these massive cliffs to get into the north Come on, horse. Here it comes. Right, so the first location we're heading for is called Freya's Hovel. And it's like up on a cliff up here. So we'll kind of have to go over this side to then get up, up the side of the cliff. I've brought uh, Berserker Bob with us today. Get some levels on him. So I'm going to head over east side here. I think that that is actually the, the cliff that we're trying to get to up there. But obviously it's a hell of a climb so if we go over oh, there's an elk, a couple of boars. We're also in wolf territory here so there'll probably be the odd wolf around as well. And can we get up that way? No, we'll have to go a bit further south, get up this slope. Some more boars. There we go, I think we should be able to get up here. And then we can use this ramp to get up to the top of that cliff. And I wasn't out of stamina. Here we go. This is what we're looking for, and that over there is Freya, and she is a guaranteed named Nordheimer archer. So we'll get off of here. What's following us? Just a, a ram. So we've got a couple of guys over here on the left hand, the right hand side, sorry. That's with one. So th this one, um, it's heart of a Nordheimer, so it's not based on a race other than it's more of a faction. But 
Freya is one of the Nordheimers that always appears. Oh, we've got a bear and an elk king over there. Is that them all? Freya's hovel. Anything in here? I thought there was a chest in here. Oh, oh so we've pulled Freya. Which is fine because what we want there is get her away from the cliff. Oh, and she's down already. Okay. So if we look at her oh, I've picked up all of her inventory, so if we look in her inventory, one of the items is a heart of a Nordheimer. And one thing you notice there, unlike the heart of a hero, it doesn't have a spoil timer. So we're not going to be concerned. So I can drop all this other junk. We're not concerned with the, I think it was 35 minute timeout that we had with the, the hero. Okay, so that's one. And like like the heart of a hero, I think we've got, probably got to get about ten. Alright, so we need to get down here. So I think we can either fight that bear or we will stick to the side over here. We might be able to sneak past them. And then we get down this slope here. And then there's a path down this side. There we go. Right, I'm going to head over towards that aqueduct to get the next one. So, try to remember which pillar. Oh, there it is. That's, that's this pillar here. You can just see there's two people there. It's a bit of a weird one, this one, because it's two people. I'm not sure. I've always thought this was a bit of a bug. Two people with the same model type. And they've both got the same name. Dina Master Huntress, Dina Master Huntress. So I have a feeling this is a bug and there should actually only be one. That's one down. There's the other one. Yellow named. Okay, All right. So if we look here, so take the steel bar, and now we've got two Heart of Nordheimers, and with this one, three. Take the steel bar as well. Okay, so that's three. All right, and then the next one we're going for, and so we go underneath the aqueduct. And up to that tower up there. This is actually one of the named fighters that we fought in that beginner's guide video. And we're going for Leon. And this will be Leon's watch. Leon's watch, yeah. Let's get off. So we're not with a made a bit of a mess of the taming video, but we're not going to worry about that this time. We're just going to murder everybody here. Go. Alright, and then just over this way, there he is, standing by his bonfire, is Leon. Another name horn. He's down. Let me check him out. Another heart. Uh, take a bar. I'm not going to worry about any of the other stuff. And it's dark. Right, I'm, I'm going to go to one more place that's not a guaranteed spawn, but. It's right next to us, and that's this uh, meadow watch. And there's a another name that can spawn there called Janos. So let's just pop up here while we're so close, because it's here. 
and see if Janos is here. No closer. Take him out. Take him out. Come on. Doesn't look. Doesn't look like he's here. He's usually hanging about these target dummies. Oh, I haven't got my shield up. Oh, wrong weapon. Oh. Still got my weapon up. What's going on here? Sit there. Good job, Berserker Bob's here to protect me. Okay, yeah, so he's not he's not here, but I've seen a few times that he's usually spawned just basically standing right here. Uh, there's maybe somebody on the on the training dummies and he's like kinda watching over them. Okay, so no luck today. Uh, but what we'll do now is we'll just leave it 15 minutes and then we'll head back to Freya and we'll just repeat that run and get those those four all over again. And uh, once it, oh, there's a book. What's that book for? The Sit Emote. Okay. Uh, nothing in the chest worth having. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're back at Freya's Hovel, and uh, just to show you that these are 100% spawns, we're just going to quickly run through that four spawn points again. Well, three spawn points, but with four hearts. So, there's one. Come on, you. Pull free away from the edge. Okay. Right. And behind her so she can't get off the edge again. There we go. Take her steel bars. Oh, she's got a gold bar. And take another heart. And we'll get back on the horse. Go and get the twins. There we go. Dina and Dina have respawned. Let's go in and get them. Easy as that. Nice AOE from the uh, the big sword. I think that's Papyrus Blade that Bob's got. Uh, the hero. Okay, and then we'll dip under here. And we should be there. Down. And he's got another heart of the hero. We'll take that heart and steel. Dismantle that. Oh, and he's got some steel bars as well. Take that as well. So there you go. Those four guaranteed. Uh, Janos might appear up up the top there, and you can farm them to get your to get your hearts. And once again, you don't have to worry about spoil timers with these, because unlike the heart of a hero, they don't spoil. Okay. I'm just going to try and get one more, and then I'm going to see you down at Hanneman's tomb, where we are going to trade them in and see what we get. Okay, see you soon. Okay, just like 
the heart of Vahiro video, we have to bring them down to Hanuman's Grotto. Hanuman's Grotto, I think that's right. Which is right down here on New River. So this lump here is where it will be. So we'll go come in here. There's going to be loads of these imps here. But they will be very easy to kill indeed. In fact, a lot of them are fighting shalebacks in this outdoor area here. So a lot of them will already be dead. Like that baby shaleback there. Right, we'll leave the horse out here. Here we come. One hit for you. One hit for you. Yeah, they all come now. Oh, these exploding one, the red ones. Okay, and head in. Hanuman's Grotto. So, these bits are very easy indeed. I'm still confused why they decided to put this in such a a low level area. Look at all the crystal if you look for crystal. There's a place you can come. And there we go. And a boss guy, one skill boss. You coming in, Bob? Nothing on him. And then we get to this water. And we swim down here, and then under the water, we can get under here. And get back out. And this is where the actual real boss is. Right, so now we need to run around and try and get Bob to come in. Here you come. Oh no, that's the boss. Bob. Bob. Come on, Bob. Here's Bob. There's the boss. So what's his name? Valis the Loyal. I haven't got my shield out after swimming. So we just need to take him out. Three skull, but only... What is it? 4,500 health? So... A lot of armor, I thought. Legion armor on. I'm stuck on the crystal. There we go. And he's down. Right. You can get a heart off of him too. The withered heart. That crystal. Not much else. Right. And then, just like with a the hero, there's a book here with some lore. And then this god here that you sacrifice items to. Oh, there's another book there. O Lord of the Darkness, of a men more, who are not men, a bit more story. Give us strength and suffering. Prayer to Hanuman. Measure. Let our bodies be pleasing to you, and our minds quieted from this conscious okay. thought. Right. So what you do is you interact with this box, and it will remove. What, which one did it? So it removed. Uh, I did it twice, and we got Hanuman's gift. So I think 80% of the time you will get Hanuman's gift. So it took his withered heart and one of our Nordheimer. We do it again. Another Hanuman's gift, and again another one, another one, another one. There we go. Gift. Gift. And we don't have any more hearts. Okay. So that worked out exactly perfectly because it's 80%. So one of those was from the Withered Heart. So we take one of them away. We had 80% of the time from our 10 Heart of a Nordheimers, we got Hanuman's Gift Potion, which just gives you a boost in stats. And the other 20%, we got. Yeti protectors. So, 
I'm not going to take them out here, they're really heavy, so I'm going to give it to Bob to carry it. And we'll head back to base, and then we'll show you what the Yeti protectors are. I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. Okay, so we'll head out, back under the water again. Still dead. Run up here. Get out of the cave. Or the grotto, even, I suppose. And back on a horse, and we're going to head back to, to base again, and then we'll show you what the Yeti protectors are. And there's the imps fighting the shield backs. Okay, I will see you in a bit. Right, welcome back. We've made it back to base and dropped off all our junk that we've got. So we now have a boon of a Yeti protector in our inventory. So if we place it down, we can see how huge this thing is. There we go. We have a Yeti protector. So look at the stats of this thing. So it does only have 1076 health. So it certainly doesn't start off well. Um, it requires desert berries as its vitality, 14% vitality boost. So let's give it that. Let's have a quick look at the rest of the stats. So one point in strength, one point in vitality. So not not great and only got a 58% chance for each to boost up. So the 14% is definitely worthwhile. Um, it does have 10 carry slots, so it can be can be useful for carrying stuff. But probably its best thing you can do is to scare the living daylights out of noobs. So anybody starts brand new on the server, if you turn up with this thing following behind you, um, it uh, gets them a little bit worried. But let's take them out and uh, we'll see how weak they are and we'll try and get them up to... Get them up a couple of levels and see see if they're getting much better. So let's start them off with one of you little guys. Oh, little guy has run away and the, the bigger guys are... No, okay, fight him, fight him, fight him. Don't chase him. Help him out because he's so weak at the start. There go. He's got to level up, which he didn't get in health. Come on, so slow. With so little damage. There we go. He got another level up, which he did get in health that time. Right. Come back, come back, come back. Come back here. Right. Come back here. Fight this guy. Six damage, so <laughs> got, got him in the end. Is that a that looks like a corrupted one over there, which might be rather dangerous? But let's try this guy. That corrupted one, because that corrupted one will probably kill him. Come on. Up. 
get. I've got another level up in health, so slowly getting his health up, but his, his damage is so poor and so slow. What are you damage at now? He's got three in strength, three agility, so he's getting a little bit more armor. 101 armor, so yeah, not much at all. I just cut that for you. Get some XP. You just heal up. What level were you? Three. Yeah, let's see if we can get you to five. I'll bring you back once I've got him to five. And I'll let you see what he's like. Okay, we're back. And we've got him leveled up. He's now level five. But still only got 1,739 a health, his armor is up to 117. He did get he did get six strength, so he's actually lucked out more on the strength than he did with the vitality, which even with our plus fourteen percent chance, which that's all just RNG. But yeah, he's even at level five. Usually by the time you get something to level five it's usually viable. But uh, even at level five it's still pretty weak. So like like I say, good fun for scaling New players down in New River as they spawn in. If you come running in your horse with this guy following behind you. Um, he does have 10 carry slots, so he can carry some stuff for you. But as far as fighting, and although Yeti Protector is not that great at protecting you. I guess he'd be fine down in New River. But if you've got to the extent where you're able to um, tame this guy. And be able to kill those Nordheimers to get their hearts. You really you really don't need some somebody like this. But yeah, it's a, he's a fun little character. Good to, good to have around just from, from a novelty point of view. But that's it. That's the guide for the Heart of the Nordheimer. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Hit subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you back here for more episodes. Bye now.